Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... So let's have the second part of our tutorial video. Dito naman ang focus natin sa solve word problems with regard to the compound interest. Kanina, uh, we solved two problems tungkol sa simple interest. And review muna natin na, kapag simple interest, meron tayong specific term. Let's say for example, three years. Ang mangyari simple interest, after three years, saka na magkakaroon siya ng uh, additional interest. Yung principal natin, plus the interest, that is the future or the maturity value. Dito naman sa compound interest, bakit siya mas mahirap or bakit uh, mas malaki yung tubo ng mga investor when it comes to compound interest? Let's say for example, ito muna tayo. Given the principal, ito yung puhunan or yung present value, which is 18,500, and then the interest rate is 3%, and compounded annually for three years. Find the maturity value F and the compound interest I sub C. Ngayon dito ang guys, ang pinagkaiba kasi ng compound interest, since meron tayong compounded annually for three years, anong nangyari? Um, ito yung sipin nyo guys. Uh, yung 18,500 natin, tutubo yan per year. At yung tubo niya is madadagdag sa principal. Unlike sa simple interest, anong nangyayari? After mismo ng 3 years, isang beses lang o isang bagsakan lang yung mismo tubo niya. Dito, ang inagandahan ng simple inter uh, compound interest for the investors, kapag lumipas na isang buong taon, since compounded annually, lumipas na isang buong taon, anong nangyayari? Magkakaroon siya ng interest for the span of 1 year at madadagdag sa principal. So magbabago nga yun yung puhunan mo at madadagdagan siya. And then, Another year, magkakaroon siya pa ni bagong tubo, madadadag ulit siya sa principal mo. Tapos another year, for the last 3 years, magkakaroon siya ng another income. Which is, kaya siya tinatawag na compound interest. So right now, ang formula na natin to calculate for the compound interest is that we have I sub C is equal to F minus P. Yung F natin dito is the maturity value or the future value. Parang yung amount ng investment mo after the term. And then, yung P natin, syempre, yung principal or the present value. So, next naman natin is yung formula for the maturity value, which is F is equal to P times 1 plus R raised to T. Which is, yung R natin is your interest rate, at yung T mo is your term or yung time in years na kung saan uh, ilagay mo yung pera mo. Wherein your, pwede naman siya maging investment or loan. And another thing na kailangan kong i-clarify dito, baka malito kayo, meron kasi tayong different types ng compound interest. Wherein, ang focus natin dito is compounded siya annually. Meron naman kasi mga word problems wherein sa isang buong taon, meron siyang different uh, number of times kung kailan siya makakompound. Yung, yung ibang magiging topic kasi natin, pwede siya maging compounded um, monthly, pwede siya maging, maging compounded quarterly, at pwede siya maging compounded semi-annually. So, let's start with this problem. So, una, uh, pinapahanap sa atin dito, find the maturity value F and the compound interest. So, I will use the maturity, maturity value formula F is equal to P times 1 plus R raised to T. Ngayon, itong unahin ko for us to solve for the compound interest later. So, what you will do, Siyempre, kung basic, kung hindi kayo siya namagaling sa math, you will write down the given information. Your principal, which is 18,500 pesos. Tapos, yung inyong R, which is needed para makuha yung future value. Your R is equal to 3%. Yung 3% na guys, you need to uh, convert this one into decimal form. So, tandaan guys ha, when you are converting a percentage to a decimal, ang gagawin nyo, you will move two decimal places from right to left. So, ang equivalent nito is 0 0.03. Next naman natin is yung time. Yung time naman natin is compounded 3 years. So, 3. So, ang t natin is equal to 3. So, using these values, your p, r, and t, you will substitute this sa ating formula. So, your f is equal to the principal which is 18,000 pesos. 18,500 pesos times 1 plus your rate which is 0 0.03 raised to t which is 3 years. 
So, syempre, pag din may alaman guys, you can use your scientific calculator. Ako, I'm using my iPad kasi meron ako ditong installed application of scientific calculator. What I will do is I will simplify first 1 plus 0 0.03. So, syempre, basic pa yan. Huwag mo ng calculator yan. You have 80,500 times. Ito, pag nga doon sila, that is 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to the third power. Ito yung calculator natin. Gabi nyo ngayon guys is you will input 1.03 raised to the third power third power and the answer is 1.092727 So ako, hindi na siya susulat ngayon and kapag lumabas sa calculator nyo yung sagot nitong 1.03 raised to 3 i-multiply nyo agad siya sa 18,500 So, balik times 18,500. So, ang answer natin dito ngayon, guys, yung future value niya, after 3 years, ha, is 20,215.45. Nag-round up ako ng content. Ito na yung future value natin. And we are done with the first problem. Find the maturity value. Ang ibig sabihin nito, guys, is that ito na yung value ng in-invest mo after 3 years, if meron kang rate of 3% and compounded annually. And then let's go with the compound interest. Simply lang yung problem natin. To solve for the compound interest, you need to use I sub C is equal to F minus P. So what you will do is to copy the value here. You have 20,000 215 pesos, 0.45 minus your principal, which is 18,500. Mag-calculator na rin kayo dito, guys. So, what you will do here, eto, tagawin natin ngayon, is we have 20,215.45 minus your principal, which is 18,500. So, magiging sabot natin ngayon, the compounded interest is simply 1,715.45. Ito yung mismo sabot natin for the whole problem. Ayun na guys, I hope na natuto kayo sa first part natin which is nag-focus tayo on how to solve for the simple interest. And right now, tinapos na natin yung pag-discuss with regard to the compounded interest. So, guys, if you have any question or any requested topic that you want me to discuss, feel free to comment down below. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated sa the latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Don. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye! -bye.